when the, the Rugby Football League said that there were some new, new clubs to come into Championship 1, I think we were the most obvious choice. We'd been around 30 years. We'd been working towards um, champion, Championship 1 since about 1991 when we joined the Rugby League Alliance. So there's been a natural evolution of the club. We're very much you know, entrenched in the town. We've got the community behind us, but it's been a, a long haul, not always easy. But after 32 years, we're, we're joining the professional ranks and uh, who knows, another 32 years' time, where we'll be. The local community around us means everything to this club. It's what we're about, it's why we're here, and it's why we're going as Championship One. It's not just about rugby league, it's also about employability and social cohesion and the general well-being of our community around us. A lot of schools in Hemel Hempstead have played rugby league for 20 years. Hemel Hempstead is a rugby league town. It's a working town and I think we're very much getting to the stage where everyone knows that rugby league is a central part of their community. When I first came into the club, there was a good mix of players, a lot of Australian, New Zealanders and some local players. In the past eight years that's changed dramatically to this day where the majority of the players we have are, are local or, or southerners and um, that's a reflection of how the club's developed and the growth of rugby league really developing in the south. We've had young juniors that have gone on to play for London Broncos, representing the Knights. The club should be very proud of, of the achievement that, um, that we've had in developing these young players through to internationals. It's very important that we, um, we continue the development of, of our juniors. Looking at the bigger picture, the 12, the 13, the 14 year old players that are about it at the moment, hopefully the future of our, of our club in, in the first team. My name is Kaz Fatteroti and I play back row at Hemelstead. I'm just really excited about um, going in, into the new league and with the semi-professional club helping to bring up uh, London Rugby League as a whole. Um, so more people, supporters, coaches, kids get into it and can really see how good I saw it when I, when I first got into it. My name's Guy Alden and this is my third season with Hemel Hempstead. I think it's important the game keeps on progressing. Uh, being a Londoner, playing in a London-based team, it's the only way the game's going to promote down here. It means a lot being able to go up and represent a wider scale than just a, a club as a whole. If we have a good season, we beat the new teams and we can beat a couple of the teams that were sort of lower down the table in last year's Championship 1, I think that we can sneak into the playoffs and that's, that's a realistic goal for us and that's something that we're really working hard on. We decided to become a supporters trust because we want to include the fans in what's going to be an incredibly special future and for them to be able to own part of the club they have a truly special way to be involved. I think the club's on, on, the, on the verge of potentially being um, a great club. We've got a project coming down the road at us called the Town Stadium in Hemel. We're one of the leading candidates to occupy that stadium and I think if we can get Championship one right in the next year or two. The club and the sport have got the opportunity to be playing in a purpose-built facility which will be not only good for uh, the club but also for the sport and also for the town. The town stadium is, is the big issue as far as we're concerned.